Now, here in the West, we're spoilt for choice when it comes to places to visit for beautiful scenery and wildlife. From Ballantrae to Barra, there's something for everyone. Well, to help you decide where to go, Visit Scotland has set up a rating scheme, similar to the one for hotels and restaurants. The first to achieve five stars in Britain is a birdwatching trip to Isla. Sharon Frew finds out why. We're all prepared to jet off to find wilderness elsewhere, but it's on our doorstep. Beauty can be, be found wherever you look, if you look carefully. Here on the very edge of Scotland, it's not hard to find such beauty. Isla is a haven for birds. All year round, over 100 different species gather on the island, and charting out, their progress in, is Jeremy they, Hastings. As the water goes out, the geese and all the other waders, like the red shank that we saw, the green shank, the oyster. He's the first wildlife the guide in Britain to be awarded five stars. It's a restaurant that's open 24 hours a day. An utter surprise, really. I, I, it's fantastic. You know, I am so pleased, not only for myself, but, you know, for the whole of Isla, really, because we're, you know, this is just the most marvellous, fantastic, exciting place. This is all tidal. So the tide will come in. As you don't know whether in a moment there's going to be a golden eagle fly over your head, you know, or there's chuff somewhere, or, or there's a geese in the winter. 50,000 geese, you know, how long are they if they come here? On Isla, it's about much more than bird watching. From fishing to learning bushcraft skills, even sleeping in caves, Jeremy encourages all ages, from beginners to experts, to explore and experience nature at her wildest. With such stunning scenery, it's easy to see why Scotland is the top eco destination in Europe. This new rating system aims to encourage visitors and those who live here to take advantage of the very best wildlife that the country has to offer. Scotland has a plethora of wildlife. I had the fantastic opportunity to work with a lot of wildlife operators developing this scheme who are all very passionate about their subject and it took me from the woolly wilds of mull eagle spotting right up to the northeast dolphin and whale watching along the Murray coast. It's all about getting people to try something new really and hopefully come back again and again. But we're going to have a wee fire here okay it's just enough to boil our kettle. As all parents know, on any trip, it's the youngest critics you've got to impress. And when I was making sparks with the knife, I thought it was quite cool. When we were making the fire, he told us um, not to dig a really big hole because um, land's precious. Oh, in the past, we've gone to various uh, things. You're in there five minutes and you leave because it, was, it wasn't <coughs> worth it, you know. I mean, we tend to do a lot of weekend breaks and holidays in Scotland and you tend to take your chances when you go to see any attraction and actually giving some guidance on what to expect, I think, is a real win. Yes, mm. it's good. <laughs> it tastes better outside. That burnt myself. <laughs> For the kids, it's a great appreciation of the, just the, the country that we live in and the, the planet that we live on. And if you can teach them a few of those values on a day off school, it's not a bad thing. Incredible. And you can see how many wading birds there are. I wake up every morning thinking, I'm alive, it's fantastic. I'm just like so excited about this place, you know. And even when it's pouring down with rain and it's terribly cold or, or wet, there is always something to see. There's always a surprise waiting around the corner. Sharon Frew, Scotland Today, on Isla. Beautiful scenery indeed well worth a visit. Now, as we said earlier, the election...